What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have the finals from the Key Forge Vault Tour in Italy 2019. Brought to you by Hill Vizzo over on Twitch TV. Thanks for the footage. If you guys want to help out and support them, go on over to twitch.tv forward slash Hill Vizzo. The link is in the description below and give them a follow. If you haven't seen the previous top 16 matches uh, commentated in English, I posted them on this channel, uh, Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube, in a playlist. So you can check them out there if you haven't seen them. i got lots of other Keyforge tournament coverage with commentary posted also on the channel. And we're in the process of posting games from the Origins 2019 Vault Tour from Columbus, Ohio. So check that out. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button to help other people find these Keyforge videos. It would be much appreciated. Feel free to leave some comments below. All right, we got a headhunter uh, dropped on the board by Shinigami. Uh, I'm sure these are both uh, usernames on the on the stream here, so I don't know the real players' names. And I'm sorry. The decks that are listed below there, you can find them in the description below if you want to jump on over to the Master Vault to take a look. And we see a Pit Demon and a Shuler dropped in on the other side, plus a Tendrils of Pain dealing a damage to each creature in play at the time was only the Headhunter, and he gains the damage but also gets an Amber off it. So our first Amber of the game there by Alesto. On the other side, we got a War Song. So that's for the remainder of the turn. Gain one amber each time a friendly creature fights. We have a smash coming down, stunning the pit demon. Congratulations to both these players for making it to the finals. We had 340 something players, I believe. And here we are down to the final two. We have a Bumpsy coming into play, forcing Alesto to lose his one amber he had there. And the headhunter is going to fight Shula. They'll take each other out. And he should gain an amber there off of War Song, which he does. This is a best of three finals. As you see at the bottom there, they have a two hour time limit to play a best of three. This is not adaptive. There will be no switching decks, no bidding on chains. It's just straight best of three. So we see follow the leader played there. So be able to use friendly creatures to fight. And of course, he'll just use the pit demon to fight. But instead of fighting, he'll just remove the stun and exhaust himself. And loot the bodies there just discarded. Burn the stockpile discarded, and Alormir Flamefist dropped in with no play effect since his opponent does not have seven or more amber. He will not lose any. So it looks like Alesto was just trying to get through all those Brobnar hand cards that are clogging his hand there that he would like to see later in the game. Just wants to dump them and draw into the stuff he needs now. So we have a Vigor just played there for the amber. We have a Scout played here for an amber, but he'll also get to use those two creatures. They'll both get Skirmish, and he'll just fight the other two creatures across the board, of course, taking no damage due to Skirmish. And those guys are big enough to take out the opponent's creatures. And Shinigami will finish at 3 Amber. Alesto still at 0. Nice back and forth board control game here so far in this finals. So this game was obviously streamed in Italian, so that's why I'm doing the English commentary on it, if you guys weren't sure. Figured some people might find this uh, interesting. <laughs> it's definitely a good tournament. I watched the whole, uh, or most of the day one stream. And if you guys want to go check out the day one stream videos, I'm not going to be posting those in the English commentary, but you can check them out over at Il Vizzo's uh, Twitch channel. Link in the description below. And just go to his video section, and you can see all the uh, Keyforge stream there. So looks like a random discard off the Gonguzel, only hitting uh, the Bumpsy for three. Throws a Dust Imp into play. And the card he got out of hand looks like a uh, Raiding Knight, I'm going to want to say. And we got Bumpsy coming into play another Brobnar turn here, losing an Amber. Back down to zero, Alesto getting frustrated, I'm sure. Two Reaps off the other Brobnar creatures. And only choosing to play one card there. Going to five now. Three creatures in play. And Shinigami getting to draw two cards there since one was discarded last turn. Looks like we have a dis turn by Alesto. He's going to fight into the Bumpsy, killing him, finishing him off, taking two Amber off the Dust Imp dying. Schuler coming into play, stealing one. I think he's got Hysteria in hand there. He's, he's debating on playing. 
But then he's putting two creatures back in hand that have come into play effects. His own Shuler's going back to hand, comes back out, steals the second one. He decides to value. Gaining Amber, stealing it from his opponent is more important than giving him back a couple Brobnar creatures that are going to come into play and stun and make you lose an Amber. And he's looking at his discard pile now. Oh, he's rearranging the discard pile. You cannot do that. Oh, which he just got busted for. Uh, he just had to switch it back. He says sorry. <laughs> you can see him doing the hand signals there, apologizing. Yeah, don't change the order of the discard pile anymore. There are cards in play that play the top card of the discard pile and things like that. I'm sure there will be more cards coming as the uh, new sets come out for Keyforge. That will rely more on cards in the discard pile being in a certain order. So do not mess with the order of the discard pile. All right, we've got Control of the Week, gaining an Amber. He's looking at the discard pile, trying to figure out how many cards has he played so far, which house to make him play. Let's find out here what he forces him into. And now Shinigami looking through his discard pile here. He's forced to go untamed, so he's going to do Nocturnal Maneuvers, gain an Amber Exhaust up to three creatures in play. Of course, only one creature in play, Schuler. Plays a Regrowth. I don't think there's any untamed creatures in the discard pile yet, so nothing to bring back into play. Another thing to note, Shinigami's deck list here, he has four Dust Pixies. So did one of the last players in the last video, but he does not have two um, of the Nature's Calls like the last deck had. Uh, but yes, four Dust Pixies seems to be a thing here in Italy on top decks. Uh, that is pretty crazy. I didn't know you could get that many Dust Pixies in a deck. But I would love to crack one open that had four Dust Pixies. One of my favorite cards from Age of Ascension. Or uh, from Call of the Archons. <laughs> but he does have a regrowth at least to, to recur them. But he does have a key charge. Shinigami does have a key charge with those four Dust Pixies. So we'll watch for, we'll watch for the key cheat here. So we have a hidden stash I believe here. Putting a Lesto to six. He'll archive a card, face down there in front of him. He does play an Urchin to steal another one. Goes to 7 Amber. And plays an Naughty the Thief. And that's it. Another interesting thing, no shadows in Shinigami's deck. He is here at the finals of an Archon Vault Tour, 300 and something players. And no shadows in his deck. But obviously, he's got some Amber control as we see two Raiding Knights come into play and capture one. Then Terms of Redress capturing two. And the Staunch Knight, being on the flank, is going to have plus two power, which I believe that's what he put that two, the two red tokens on there to remind him that the Staunch Knight is plus two power. So it's neither player yet able to forge a key here. Some good back and forth amber control keeping each other off of a key. Both decks also having Brobnar. Brobnar seems to be a popular thing here in these top 16 games that I've commentated. Uh, I feel like it's been Brobnar in every game, at least in one deck. So it's surprising seeing Brobnar in such of the so, so many of the top decks. And a non-Shadows non in one of the decks in the finals. This is very interesting. Just shows the diversity in Keyforge. And I love it. I just wish one of these decks was from Age of Ascension. <laughs> That'd be cool to see the two sets face off in the finals. We do have some Age of Ascension versus Call of the Archon matches that were posted earlier. Check those out in the playlist. Keyforge Italy at Rob's Gaming Table. Alright, so we got a Shadow's turn. He's reaping with Urchin. Stealing with Naughty the Thief. And what else is he playing out of hand here? Looks like a Magda the Rat stealing two more. Oh my. Going up to seven Amber. In check again as Alesto for his first key. But will he ever be able to forge it? And he's stealing Shinigami's Amber enough that he will never see it for his first key. See how long it takes to get to that first key. It's been 10 minutes already. <laughs> many, many turns. are pretty quick going back and forth here, and we still don't have a key. And a ghostly hand. I think he's one amber away from being able to steal one there. Two amber on Shinigami's faction card means he's not able to steal one. Uh, but he does go up to nine, and you can tell he was a little iffy on playing that to go up to nine. But his opponent doesn't have too much to protect, so it doesn't have shadows, so you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you could walk into 
a, uh, a doorstep or something. But uh, they have looked at each other's deck list for two minutes before the game. So, I mean, he knows what's in there. So maybe he's not too afraid to go to nine. So we have a Sanctum turn here. Throwing in a Vault Keeper, preventing Shinigami's Amber from being stolen. I wish he, I, I bet he wished he saw that a turn earlier. We see a Champion Anathel throwing in some Taunt there between the Raiding Knight and the Vault Keeper. And I think we're seeing some fighting here happening. Getting rid of the Urchin. Uh, or not the Urchin, sorry. The Magda the Rat is what I meant. So you had to burn the Elusive, fight in, two armor blocked, two damage got through, two damage got through on the Staunch Knight, but it allowed him to steal two, but not enough to get a Lesto off a key, of course. He has one Amber remaining after forging his first key. So we got there. 11 minutes, we got our first key. Less than 11 minutes. <laughs> Still in game one here at a best of three. And we have a Blood of the Titans on Schuler, bumping him up uh, to 10 power. He's going to get an Amber for playing that. And we had a Ganger Chieftain getting Schuler to ready and fight. And that should definitely be enough to finish off the Staunch Knight. Staunch Knight, he'll get the two Amber back that were captured from the Terms of Redress a couple turns ago onto the Staunch Knight. Putting Alesso at 4 Amber. And then he'll play Coward's End. Destroying all undamaged creatures. Getting 2 more Amber back. Putting him into check. And leaving just the Schuler out there who has 10 power. And I'm not sure how much damage is on him. Going to want to say... 8. I think he has 8 on him. 6. 6 on him maybe after fighting the Staunch Knight. Staunch Knight was plus 2 power I believe. So, I don't know what's happening here. The judge is telling him to cut his opponent's deck. Not sure why. He's taken three chains. Did he draw too many cards, maybe? I don't think he's through his deck already. What did I miss there? Hmm. All right, we have Bumpsy coming back into play. Making him lose one, getting him off of key. Smash, stunning the Schuler. And another bumps, or sorry, this is a another smash, just re-stunning Schuler, who can only be stunned once. You can target a stunned creature, so he doesn't have to stun one of his own. And then he'll ready and fight using an anger to finish off Schuler, using the smash to destroy himself, take each other out, and gain an amber off the anger there. Putting himself into check. Shinigami's now in check, I believe, with six. Back over to Lesto has five amber. And we have Imperial Trader played here for an Amber. His opponent's going to have to show him his hand. And then he can purge a Sanctum card, I believe, is what the text is on that. Let me just double check. It is a rare out of shadows. Look at your opponent's hand. You may choose and purge a Sanctum card in it. And all that's in there is... Is that Take Hostages? Yeah, it's Take Hostages. So he'll just purge that. And he gets some hand knowledge here, seeing double tremors. Wow, double tremors. A couple dust pixies. And he'll drop a Naughty the Thief into play. And throw down a finishing blow just for the Ember. No damage creatures in play to destroy and steal one. So he'll go up to seven, lose a chain, and only draw up to five. And we see a key forged finally by Shinigami, getting one key. Can he get Alesso off of a key here? He's going to go on tame, so most likely not. He's just going to race. Drop down two Dust Pixies, getting four Amber. And that's going to be it. Not the most exciting turn, but hey, he's getting there. Allows his opponent to forge his second key. So Alesso now at two keys to one. He's got one Amber remaining. Can he get up to six here? Can steal one with Naughty the Thief? What? I don't know what house he's going, though, but... Just from what we see in play. Can't really see his hand, I know. And we have a bait and switch. Stealing two. Yep, he'll steal two. Or not, just one. I, uh, what's he at? 
And he'll steal another one with Naughty Thief. Going up to four. His opponent going down to... Is he down to one or zero amber? Or one amber, one amber. So he's going to go untamed. Reap twice with the Dust Pixies. Going to play Life Web just for the amber. And then we have a Snuffle Gator put into play. Alright, Shinigami back at 4, Amber. Lesso also at 4, but ahead by a key. We got the judge adjusting the cards there. A little bit of OCD, trying to make sure they fit in the little holders there on the uh, the mat. <laughs> uh, so he played a card there for an Amber and destroyed a creature. Looks like he's going Shadows, maybe he threw out a Nerve Blast. And he steals one with Naughty the Thief. Putting him back in a check with six for the final key. Let's see if Shinigami has a way to get him off that last key. Struggling here to try to get his own key to his second key. All the Amber he gets just seems to go to his opponent. So we have Untamed Name. He's going to fight in with the Dust Pixie to get rid of Elusive. Then Snuffle Gator is going to fight and kill Naughty the Thief. Take two damage. And then we see a Hunting Witch dropped in there on the right flank. And he is skirmish, so he shouldn't take two damage. So the judge is telling him to take damage, but both players realizing he shouldn't get damage. <laughs> I'm confused also. And that's it. He forges and wins. All right, so that's game one. Best of three. And they're going to clean it up here, get set up for game number two. Like, it, like I said before, it's non-adaptive, so they're not going to switch decks or looking at deck lists or anything like that. They just reset, shuffle up, and go again with the game number two. You see the wins up there in the top center. So Alesto is now up one to nothing. We have an hour and 42 left in the match. And it looks like Alesto is going to his backpack here. He's going to maybe slap a granola bar down his throat. Or take a drink. Yeah, he's drink of water. Or maybe something a little stronger to help with the nerves here in the finals. <laughs> And while we're just waiting for him to get set up, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that little alarm bell button. Like I said, there's lots of uh, Keyforge Vault Tour videos coming up on the channel this week from the Origins Vault Tour. I got lots from Day 1B. I think 12 matches total from Day 1B going up with commentary. And then after that will be uh, Day 2, where I got games from the Top Cut, the Finals, all that coming up with commentary. So stick around to Rob's Gaming Table. Tons of Keyforge coming up on the channel. And while you're waiting, there's lots of other Keyforge videos that I posted from previous tournaments. If you haven't watched those, go check them out. They're all in playlists at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can click the link in the description below and head on over to Patreon. All the money goes to, you know, traveling to tournaments like this one or like Origins in Columbus, Ohio, or I'm trying to go to Gen Con to get you guys a bunch more videos with commentary. Also helps buy uh, more kit, more equipment, lighting, camera equipment, audio equipment, that kind of stuff. So thank you to everyone who supports the channel to help it improve, to help more content get to the channel. Uh, yeah. It's all good. Any amount helps. Any amount helps. It just helps offset that cost. You guys know this isn't free. <laughs> For me, at least. But either way, I appreciate you guys being here watching. At least hit that like button. Always appreciated. Also, by donating, you guys help uh, my wife not uh, get so mad that I sit down here all day on a Sunday voicing over videos from an Italian vault tour. <laughs> all right. So they're shuffled up here. They're cutting decks. And again, go over to Il Vizzo's Twitch channel. Link in the description below and go give them a follow. Thank them for streaming this tournament. So how it works in best of three is the person that lost the previous game gets to choose who goes first. So I'm assuming Shinigami has chosen himself to go first. And again, drops a headhunter in play. So very familiar. Same start as last round. And now Alesto is going to start with Brobnar of his own. Coming in with a smash. Ganger Chieftain fight. Uh, smash and uh, the Headhunter will take each other out. Then another Ganger Chieftain gets to ready up the other Ganger Chieftain to fight. No one is there. 
And then he'll just use that Kangar Chief to reap, gaining an Amber. Then we have a Tremor coming out on the other side, stunning both Gengar Chieftains. And we see a Warsong just discarded. And a Smash coming into play, obviously stunning one of the Gengar Chieftains who already is stunned. Alright, we have the Annihilation Ritual hitting the board here from the start. So any creature that leaves play uh, from being destroyed will be purged instead. So that will help stop those Dust Pixies from being recurred with regrowths. Okay, so we have... And the Dust Imps, I guess, from being played again too. I mean, it hurts both sides, really. So we have two Dust Imps put into play there. We have a Radiant Truth, stunning disc creatures, I'm sure. And a champion, Anafel, played out there who has Taunt. And it looks like that's going to be it there. So two Amber right now for Alesto. I believe Shinigami's on one Amber. So I highly recommend if you have a vault tour in your area, go to it. I went to my first vault tour, which is Columbus, Ohio. It's a great time. If you are eliminated, play in the vault tour. You can be new, especially if it's a sealed vault tour. Have some fun. Open some decks. Try to play a few rounds. You lose a few rounds. This is great. You still get Amber Shards for playing. And then there's always tons of side events that you can jump into and play sealed, play Archon, play survival, play reversal sometimes. There's all these side events. So you can just play Keyforge like the whole weekend. So don't be intimidated by a giant tournament with these high-level players and these crazy decks. Just go have fun. Play more Keyforge. It'll help you get better at the game. You'll have tons of fun playing inside side events. You get a bunch of digital Amber Shards. You can use it to buy cool prizes on the prize wall no matter where you finish. There's always something for everybody. And uh, yeah, great time. Can't can't say enough how great it is to go to Vault Tours. So do it. Support the Vault Tours in your area. Go to them so that we continue to have more tournaments and more organized support play uh, from Fancy Flight and Asthma Day. Uh, for this awesome game. So we have a Pit Demon thrown out there. A Shuler thrown out there. And a couple, I, I think a couple of Reaps there. Maybe from the Dust Imps. I missed that. But we have a Take Hostages played there. Just for the Amber. Champion NFL fighting uh, the Pit Demon. And I believe he'll get to capture one. Yes, he will. He will capture one off of Take Hostages. Going up to 5 Amber on Shinigami's card there. And on the other side, only one. And remember, creatures are being purged from Annihilation Ritual right now when they're destroyed. But I believe the Dust Imps still can get their ability. So if you do, they do get destroyed, you can. the Amber will happen and then they will be purged. It just basically stops these creatures from coming back from the discard pile or being shuffled back in the deck and drawn later. So still no key yet. Um, Alesto at one Amber. Shinigami at five. Alesto has the board presence here though. A couple stun creatures. It's debating which house to go here. I mean, at some point he's going to want to go dis and lose those dust imps. Get them destroyed on purpose. And that looks like it might be now as he's reaching for one. He's checking out Champion NFL, who is taunt. He has to fight into him first. And he's trying to see if he'll die. Ooh, I don't remember the amber or the armor count on him. But it is only one. And he does fight into him. And he fights into him again. So it kills Champion NFL. He gets four amber total off the two dust imps dying there. And all of them will get purged. Which the judge is reminding Shinigami has to purge that champion NFL. So they'll put them under their faction cards. And what's Schuler going to do here? He's at 6 Amber in check already. Does he want to just reap or does he want to fight the smash? He is just going to reap. And then he's going to play Control of the Weak. And yeah, they're just reminding him he had to take an Amber away from the... 
No, no. Yeah. Schuler's just reaping. He didn't come into play. So the judge there's telling him to take an amber away because of Schuler, I think. But uh, Schuler didn't come into play this turn, I don't believe. And he's just reaping with him. So going up to eight for check. And here we go. The Dust Pixie Parade here, bringing out four amber uh, for Shinigami, putting himself at seven. And there's the key charge. So he'll lose one, forge for six. And Shinigami gets his first key, which I'm surprised. I didn't think he was going to be the first one to forge. But he sees his key charge this game. And here comes a regrowth. Just to get an amber. And he's going to pull back here. And he'll take back the Headhunter. Which I think is the only creature in his discard pile who died before the Annihilation Ritual came out. And I think that is it for his turn. Passes over to Alesto to forge his first key. Two amber remaining. So we're tied at a key apiece now. Here in game two out of a best of three. So Alesto wins this. He takes the fi he takes the finals. Wins the whole tournament. If Shinigami wins this, obviously they'll play a game three. And you'll see that come up on the channel if that is the case. We're at an hour and 35 minutes left. So plenty of time. There's no reason to rush for these players. I do like that in the finals, the way they're given extra time. So there should be less play mistakes, as each player has plenty of time to think. So we got a bait and switch play. Steals only one. And then he cannot repeat the effect, uh, because he does have more amber now than his opponent. So we have Magda the Rat coming in, stealing the final two off of Shinigami's card there, putting back to zero amber on his identity card. And going up to five on Alesso's side. And we got Naughty the Thief and Naughty the Thief thrown into play there on the left flank for Alesto. So we got two Bumpsies coming into play, making Alesso lose two Amber. And then we have a, a Headhunters put back into play. And who's the other one there? Is that Crump? I think that's a Crump there. That's one in from the left flank for uh, Shinigami. Yeah, it is. So he's just loading up the board with Brobnar creatures. I'm sure he's going to want to use those to fight the elusive creatures across the board that are stealing his amber. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes Brobnar again next turn. Just trying to get some board control back here. Or if he can get his into his second tremor and stun those three shadows creatures, I'm sure that would be great too. At least buy him some time. And then maybe he can just reap like crazy with those Brobnar creatures instead. So we got loot the bodies played here to start by Alesso on his turn. War chest slapped down. Can't use that this round, obviously. Follow the leader so he can fight with all friendly creatures this turn. And of course, loot the bodies for the remainder of the turn. Gain one amber each time an enemy creature is destroyed. So Magda the Rat's going to pick on the Dust Pixie there and purge it. He gains one amber off loot the bodies. I'm sure the not one of the Naya Thieves there is going to fight the other Dust Pixie. Yep, he's going to fight the Dust Pixie, purging that other Dust Pixie. And taking one damage back, gaining another one off loot the bodies. So the problem if he fights with the one Naughty the Thief, he's just going to die. It's not going to destroy anybody. He probably doesn't want to lose that Naughty the Thief. Oh, he's just going to do a Coward's End here. Gain three, change, destroy all undamaged creatures. I didn't see that coming, but it keeps it keeps Magda the Rat in place, so no steal happens. Wow. Wow. So that with Loot the Bodies, great combo. We all know that one from Call the Archons. Shoots him up to 10 Amber. I think that may be it. I think that may be the finals. I think Alesso might have it here. We'll see, though. We are in the finals. Shimigami may have some way to get back into this and control enough Amber. 
We know he's not holding Miasma. He doesn't have shadows. We know he doesn't have too much to protect. The only thing he would have is, I guess, some capture. He does not have Doorstep to Heaven. I do not see that in there. He does not have a Gatekeeper. What else doesn't he have? He does not have Burn the Stockpile, which... That would be enough uh, to get him off a key, but he doesn't have it. I'm very surprised that Brobnar Sanctum, no Shadows deck, made it to the finals here without those huge control cards out of those two houses, Burn the Stockpile and uh, Doorstep to Heaven. And I think that shows here, not having those cards is, is, is hurting him here in the finals. So he does play a Ganger Chieftain. Oh, sorry, that was only a second key. That was only a second key. It's not over. I am sorry. I am sorry. That is not over. But he does have four Amber remaining. And Shinigami only really doing some stuns here with Tremor and then playing that Ganger Chieftain. Uh, throws it back over to Lesto. Obviously, uh, has those chains. And his stun creatures. He's going to go Brobnar. Uses the Ganger Chieftain to remove the stun off of the Naughty of the Thieves until re ready and try to fight with him. He'll use a Smith here to get three Amber since he does have more creatures than his opponent. Only with three, but it's enough. Puts him up to seven with check. And are we going to have a back-to-back -back forge here for the finals win? Sorry, I thought that was the final key he was going for last turn. So we have a Raiding Knight. Capturing one. Still a check with six. Staunch Knight on the flank. Plus two. Grey Monk. Sequis. And that is it. Alesso takes the finals. Congratulations. Amazing. Amazing game. A little too bad as the more of a one-sided finals, but hey, some good Keyforge games here in the top 16 out of Italy. Some great decks. It's cool to see non-shadows in one of the decks in the finals. Like I said before, lots more coverage coming up from the Origins Vault Tour on the channel. So stick around for that. Make sure to subscribe. Donate. Link is in the description below. And hit that like button. Leave some comments if you have any questions or any constructive criticism for the players. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.